In this lesson, we are going to build on what we did in the last lesson. We are going to touch on a few classes. So we have CG geometry, which gives us the bounds. We have UI view, we have UI view controller, we have UI window. So we are going to use all this together. Uh, if I go into my diagram, I have a UI screen, um, our device. Okay, so this is a device that we have. Uh, we have UI window, and UI window is linked to our device uh, through UI screen. So UI screen basically says to our device, what is your size and X and Y and so on. So there's a main screen method. So this main screen exists because we could have two devices, in which case we have zero and one index. So we use main screen to get the, the main screen, so the zero index. Main screen has bounds method, which has origin and size, and origin is X and Y axis, and the size is the width and height frame of our device. So we get all this information, we pass it on to window. So we have UI uh, controller. UI controller has a property called view, and view is an instance of uh, UI view. So on the left side, we have a UI view. So we can um, use UI view object to create a label called hello iOS, for example, which will be reflected in our UI window and also reflected on our device. So that's the, the general gist of how this class is all linked together and how they can be used. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and write some code uh, to replicate that. So we'll start by making uh, an instance variable called window and I will um, allocate memory space and initialize frame. So again, this is uh, an Objective-C way of doing things, um, decoupled um, allocation and initialization phases. Okay, so we pass into it UI screen main screen dot bounds. So this gives us um, the bounds and our window objects can resize itself accordingly now. So the next method we want to do, we want to use is this. So we have, imagine we had two screens. How do we know which screen is the key screen, the screen ready to receive input and actions and so on. So to do that, we have to tell our window um, instance to make itself the key, right? To make yourself key and visible. So now this window is ready to receive input and ready to be used. So now the next thing we do is we want to attach our UI view controller uh, instance to this window. So we do that by calling the root view controller method. Okay. And then we can pass in our own controller objects to it. So this main controller doesn't exist yet. So I'm going to make a new directory first, uh, call this controllers in our app folder. And then I'm going to create a new file in our apps controller called main controller.rb. Okay, so now we have that. I'm going to open up that file, newly created file, main controller, and we can create our class. So this class is going to subclass our, the UI view controller. Okay, and we are going to call some of its delegate methods. So we have uh, view did load. So this is called once the view that's attached to this UI view controller instance is, is loaded. So we'll call the super method of that. So everything carries on working as expected. So from here on, we can write some of our own code. So I'll start by uh, creating a label. So a label is a descendant of uh, UI view. So we could create initialize with frame. So we say CG rect zero. So this basically uh, sets the original size to zero. Uh, label text. So we give this hello iOS. And now 
I'm going to add the, the font for this label and the size. We just want it to be slightly and slightly bolder so we can see it more clearly. So I'm going to say font of size. And uh, this will be 30. That will do. I will say label and the size um, to fit. So it scales itself to fit whatever content we put in it. And then um, what else can we do? So we can target the view. So every UI view controller has uh, a view that it uses. So this is the master view, uh, content view maybe. And we could add sub views to this. So I'm adding a label into the content view. So now we've done that, I could write this to disk and then we can, um, anything else need doing here? We've created this, I could just rake and see what we have done. So running rake, uh, compiles both app delegate and controller, it loads it. Now the default background color is black, so our font different color is black and we can't see what we have done. So I'm going to exit this, I'm going to set the controller views background color. I want that to be white so we can actually see what we have done. So self background color and then the color is some um, American spelling and equals and then we can say, well, this is self dot background color. So it should be self dot view. So we are tapping into the view. Um, instance so now i can say ui color dot white color so that is how you can set the color so there are a few of these colors white black blue purple and so on all right so now that we've done that i can write the disk and then rake and see what happens recompile our main controller I'll start simulator and voila we have hello ios in top left corner so the X and Y is zero, zero at the moment, hence why it is at the very top. Um, C, CG rec zero does that for us. So now we can change that. So label has a center method that basically isolates the origin. Um, so we can set the X and Y axis to the frame uh, frames sizes so so let's say for example we want it to be in the center of the screen we want uh, frame dot size dot um, height for example divided by two we bring the y axis down to the middle and the x axis we want to change this here so it's frame dot size dot width okay divided by two so this is the bounds is, is being passed back into frame so we have the X and Y from there. So this is where this come from, this width and this height is what we're targeting. Okay, so now that we've done that, uh, we can rake and come over here and recompile our controller and see here and everything was fine. So we have hello iOS bang in the middle. The other things obviously not. Uh, working at the moment like navigation or like um, rotation but that's for another time so a few things we have done here we have a UI view we create a label and we add that label to our content view for the UI controller which is reflected in UI window which is reflected in hello iOS screen. We have a um, UI screen which gets the size from our device and passes it down to our UI window and this cascades down um, to UI controllers, views, etc, etc, etc. So we've um, concluded uh, UI window and this is what it brings up here. In the next lesson I will show what I learned about UI navigation. So there are a few, a few classes um, to go through, but they somehow seem to do them in groups. So in UI kits, uh, classes, there's a lot of classes. We have UI navigation. Okay, so we have UI navigation item, UI navigation uh, controller, and so on. So in the next lesson, we'll put all this into practice and see how it works. So I'll see you in the next lesson.